All right, welcome to the course. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com and I'll be your instructor today. In this video, I wanna spend just a couple of minutes sort of talking about the structure of the course and telling you about any tools that you're gonna need for the course. So basically, we'll start out with the tools. You don't really need any tools for this course. We need a text editor of some sort. Now, you can use absolutely any text editor. You can use Notepad that comes free on your computer. I don't recommend you do that. I recommend that you use an actual coding text editor and there are lots of different options out there. I'm gonna be using something called Sublime Text. This is it right here. And it is completely free. You can head over to Google and just type in Sublime Text, spell correctly. And the first thing that pops up is the website, sublimetext.com. This is it. You can come over here, check it out. It's available for Windows, Mac, Linux, doesn't matter what kind of computer you're using. And you can download it for free. Every once in a while, you'll get a little pop-up box that says, if you like this software, why not donate some money? You can do that if you like. I'll leave that to you. Uh, but otherwise, it's completely free to use. So um, this is, you can see a picture of it right here. You know, it's kind of cool. Text editors for coding sort of change color based on the, the code that you type. Makes it easier to read stuff. And it's just sort of the normal, you know, thing to do when coding. So that's really the only tool we need. And like I said, you don't have to use this one. You can use any text editor. Uh, Notepad++ is a popular one. I think there's a Visual Studio, Visual Code, you know, if you're a Microsoft person. Um, Vim is one. Atom, A-T-O-M, I think is a popular one. But Sublime is sort of a, an, an industry leader, so that's what I'm going to use. I've used it for years, and it's, it's really cool. So that out of the way, the course is going to be sort of split up into several sections. In the first section... We're going to sort of look at Bootstrap, just go through the website, see what's available, uh, show you how to you know, start using it, how to install it if you want to do that, and that sort of thing. After that, we're going to just spend a good chunk of time going through all the components that come with Bootstrap, you know, explaining about how to use buttons, how to use uh, nav bars, how to use all of the things that come with Bootstrap. In the next section of the course, after that, we're going to spend some time talking about sort of layouts and more kind of almost CSS-y type things. You know, how to move things around on the screen, how to position things correctly using rows and columns and, and bootstrap containers and things like that. Uh, after that, we're gonna go through and build some sort of sample websites using free bootstrap themes that come with bootstrap. And uh, that's pretty much it. So that's sort of the, the, uh, the structure of the course. You can feel free to jump around you don't necessarily have to watch every video one after another. If you sort of understand already how the components work and you're more interested in layout stuff, skip to that section. It's perfectly fine. But otherwise, just, you know, sit back and, and start from the beginning and go through and it should be good. So in the next video, we'll jump right in and install Bootstrap and get started.